All right, so apparently my last video was broken on creating realistic lighting, so I'm gonna redo it nice and quickly for you guys so that um, you can get a better grasp of what I was talking about. So I'm using it doesn't exactly have the best lighting system to say. I guess that's the best way to put it. And uh, they rely on point lights, box lights, which uh, fill room in empty spaces. Um, if you can see the bounds of it, this blue line here, which is covering these two rooms, um, which basically helps it basically do ambient occlusion, which isn't necessarily possible in this engine, so you kind of have to fake it. Uh, so we also have our spotlight coming in, giving our nice shine with shadows. Um, I'll show you what it looks like. We have some nice shadows going on, and there's a few pointers and stuff you need to be aware of when creating light like this. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to, we're going to go over box lights, because this is basically your, your big thing, and depending on what kind of lighting you want to do, this is the big one, because this is what get, pretty much gives you your ambient occlusion. Otherwise, you have a big, dark, scary room. I mean, if you want that, go for it, but it doesn't look as nice as having something like this, where you can see everything. It gives a nice ambience to it. Okay, so the best way to do that is we'll go into lights, we'll go into box lights, let's pick that, and we're going to go over some color theory of choosing the appropriate color for what you want to design. Um, we'll just ignore those other lights over there for now and we'll get to them in a minute. So as you can see, box lights just fill areas. Now when using this for a, a, like a visual or a, an artificial ambient occlusion, uh, you basically need to make sure that the, like it has a color first off, otherwise you just get this bright ass room that's not very interesting. And you want to make the color something dark as hell. Like, if whatever you're going for, it always looks better if it's in a darker shade of it. Either that be blue, green, or anything like that. It just, um, helps. Like, for instance, there we go. Now that looks much better already. Um, the color can be changed and tweaked as much as you want. Um, but just for example's sake, I'll just show you what you can do with it. Now you got this room, you filled it up. Yada yada. And, oh, come on. And that's basically how you can fill a room with a static light to add on top of your other lights. I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. And uh, bring back my other light, which is probably way over here. Okay, so once we have a room filled with light that we necessarily want, we need to consider about other light sources. For instance, this window. Um, in real life, in reality, everything comes from windows or other sources. Light is always coming from other places and gives us nice effects on the meshing and gives us some nice shadows. There's some interesting things about this that we should keep in mind. I'm just going to turn off selecting only lights. Actually, turn that on. And we'll move all this because we'll build this one from scratch because this part can be a little off putting. Well, let's move that from where we can't see it. And we're going to build something like this using point lights. Um, billboards are important because this is what gives you your god rays or rays of light. It's a nice little effect, and there's some things you should uh, pay attention to doing it, including giving it light on the floor to give it the color, um, so it looks like actual light is flowing in, and to make sure that you turn on shadows on all of your objects um, before you. And same thing with on any of your lights. Like make sure you have it on cast shadows, unless it's a point light, which I don't even think it has the option to shadows yeah it's, it's a point light and um, so the other ones you need to do that to get a nice shadow effect but there's other ways you can do it by putting in a, a texture actually for a shadow um, which is even more of a cheat but anyway so we're gonna make this window look awesome with some artificial light so we're gonna go up to the top left here and click on our billboards and we're gonna give it a color uh, something representing of whatever I guess the, 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 the color that we use to fill the room I would say is the best choice so maybe like, yeah, maybe I'm like a, a nice bright blue, maybe I don't know. We'll see. Something like that. And we'll just plop it in there. So as you can see, first off, it looks nothing like the ones I had, and uh, that's easy to fix. So right now it's just a square. And we can go like that. We go into our billboard tab. We change it to uh, fixed access, and now it is like a plane. And you can. Uh, Distort it, rotate it, put it in. Oh, come on. 
do that. Simulate light coming in. Anyway, so yeah, you get the idea. And uh, you can change the color of this, as I said. So, you want a green light, whatever. Um, so that is basically all you need to do to get this effect on that window. Um, and the, if you go into the billboard types, it's just in texture browser under billboards. Um, which is the first one on your menu if you were to make it from hand and you have these ones to choose from so there's some different ones uh, different fall offs and stuff um, anyways so we'll get rid of that and now I want to go over the importance of like the spotlight to casting the shadows okay so we're gonna go into a create a light I'm going to a spotlight and we'll just throw one in here and we'll rotate it so that it makes sense Give it a downward angle, put it outside. Move it up a bit. Okay. And we're also going to put a fallout map on it now, which gives it a nice effect of ambient occlusion again. Gives it nice soft shadows, other than a hard one, because those look stupid and unrealistic. Um, that's how this engine handles that, anyways. Uh, these gabos, gabo, gobo, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is where you can basically infuse a textured shadow so you, you could have this light shining any texture including like shimmering water and so on and so forth everything you can see in there but we're not going to do that because it's not necessarily realistic so make sure your shadows are high turn on the cast shadows very important um, spot fall off map did it not go on? No, it didn't go on there you go Okay, so we're going to give it some color, uh, again, referencing the color we have. We'll make it a light blue, just to so you can see what's going on, and this is all can be changed with tweaking. Okay, so let's go into its, uh, where are you, its radius. So let's increase its radius, and as you can see, as I'm increasing it, we still have the shadow. And see what that is doing? Whee! Now you have some nice realistic shadows coming on out of your window, depending on which way you want your light to be coming in. Mine's just straight on, coming down, because why not? Uh, okay. Oh, where are you? Where did it go? I wonder if I can make it softer with the Gabo. Let's see. Eh, fuck it. So we have some nice hard shadows. I mean, if you, I think if you turn it to medium, no, it doesn't actually affect it. Never mind. Okay, so we'll put our shadows back up to dynamic. We'll put that back up to high. Okay, so anyways, there's that. And now we need to get this little glow that we have going on here, which kind of softens up this really hard shadow. Um, because you're never really going to see that in real life. Uh, so the best way to do that is to just make a point light. Now point lights can be used for many things. They can be used to fill dark corners if you, uh, per se, don't want to use box lights to fill rooms. If you want to darker areas, you can uh, make a box light out of a bunch of point lights, but I think a point, the box light in this engine is the most useful for in creating something like that. Um, also something I forgot to talk about billboards, make sure that you uh, have one, but I click on it first try, fucking A. You have a big one that's just like behind all of your rays so that it kind of gives the illusion that there's nothing but light coming through. Um, so if you get, see if you look through it normally, it just look kind of dumb because you can see through it, but if you put this here, it adds a whole lot of more color to it. Um, anyways, so getting back to where I was with our spotlight, we're gonna, or point light we're gonna add, we're gonna add a freaking point light in here, plop them in, And, eh, he doesn't need nothing. We'll just give him a nice color. Probably much brighter blue. Something like that. We're going to move it to pretty much where the ground is going to be hitting. Or where the light will be hitting. And we're going to fuck with its radius. Pardon my language. <laughs> so we do this. that over there and there you go there's a rough example um, things can be done obviously better like for instance what I have here 
where it's uh, extremely soft. Let's see if I have anything. Yeah, so you, it's all about the colors that you uh, generally give it to give it the, more, the best effect. Um, I also think that if I just change my spotlight aspect ratio, I think things would change. Oh. Uh, maybe not. No. Okay. Oh yeah. There we go. So yeah, you can change that. See. So oh, that's because it's actually casting shadow from outside of the window. So if I don't want it to be that hard, yeah. There you go. Sorry. I don't know what the fuck was going on. So then you move it in, and there now you have your nice soft shadows on the side, and you have your glow on your floor from the light coming in. This is a little overkill of what I've just made. Um, with tweaking and time, you can make something nice like this, and also make sure you have on all your objects that they um, cast shadows and static physics, or, on, or ones that have static physics cast shadows. Otherwise, they just look kind of stupid. And there's a lot of things in this engine that don't do that. Um, okay. Another thing to add ambience is, um, for instance, you can have these lights which uh, add a bit of glow and realism, but the, the big ones that I think I've just covered are our billboards and how to create windows with nice light coming through and artificial light sources. Um, if we look through the rest of my scene, I wonder if there's anything else we can generally talk about with this, but uh, I think we basically nailed it. Um, I would just keep in mind that the theory is that you want your room to look nice, and so to do that you need to pick your colors wisely and design what your overall atmosphere before you just go in throwing in lights. Um, have an idea of what you want and create it using all the lights. Um, you don't always have to use a box light, depends if you want a more amnesia area where it's really dark, don't use it. Just use a bunch like that. You can literally do that and get rid of that um, effect and get rid of some of these point lights. Um, as you can see all my other point lights are just like the one in that room. Anyways, so, hope you enjoyed. Hope you got a better understanding of this. If you don't, uh, leave your questions, comments, concerns in the comment box below, and I'll make you some more videos. Yeah, also, if you have any suggestions on things you'd like to see, for instance, like coding or doing language files, that would be really cool to hear from. Um, anyways, goodbye.